Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a back to school haul slash what's in my bag for back to school and I'm so excited. <laughs> showing you anything make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it subscribe down below if you haven't already click the bell to get notified whenever i film i upload every saturday and my name is here lily by the way i forgot to say that at the beginning but yes let's get on to the haul so i'm actually kind of excited to go back to school i know some people aren't actually going back to school they might be just doing online school but i go back on the 7th of september so i'm going to be showing you in this video my bag and everything that i have in my bag and i'm also going to be showing you my school shoes because I'm from the UK, so we have uniform in our school, um, and there's no point showing me in my showing my uniform because it's literally just like underwear, socks, tights, shirt, skirt, and blazer. That's literally it. So I'm just gonna be showing you my sho shoes and my school bag and everything that goes inside it. So we are actually going back to school. We're going into our building. So each of our years is going to be its own bubble. Each year is going to have like a certain place where all their classes are going to be and you just got to like move around in that area so like English, maths, science, apart from science and PE because that's on the bottom level, everything else is going to be all in one area and we're still doing like PE and science stuff so that's really weird but you know, anyways. So comment down below guys what you were doing for back to school, if you're doing it online, if you're going back to school with certain rules or what you're doing for back to school and comment down below what years you're going into, I'm interesting, interested to see um, that as well. So I'm going to show you my school shoes first actually so i used to get my school shoes from clark's but now they're kind of expensive and i can just get them from other places so these are my school shoes for this year and you can't even really see them um so i'll just show you one so they look like this from the side they just have this really cute little heel so it's not like too big and then the front of them you can I have to fill it at an angle so you can actually see it they've got these little dangly little bits here and you can see the inside is just it's really nice colour and the light you're going to see the inside anyways but yes let me take the sticker off the bottom these were from Primark and they were £12 they had quite a, they have quite a few different types of brogues these are suede which is not going to be good if it rains but so next I'm going to move on to my bag so this, so this is my school bag for back to school it's just this really nice white this is from Primark by the way this bag was £10 this year so I paid £5 and my mum paid £5 for it but yes this is the bag and my mum didn't want me to buy it because it's white and she said it will get really dirty and stuff, but I just really loved this bag. Um, so I just decided to get it anyways. So it's white on the outside and black on the inside. These straps, they just have this little gold detailing and then this bit. And it just opens like this. It's like a button, but it has a really cute little clip bit on it. Um, it's got like this little checkered design and then the back is smooth. And the bottom has those little grippy things on it so that's really good so without further ado let's get on to the what's in my bag so it just opens like this and then it also has a zip it's very good to get one that has a zip on the top so that you can zip up your stuff without anyone getting into it and without anything falling out because if you put your bag over you don't want it all to fall out that would be really annoying so it has so much space in here as you can see i've got a lot of stuff in here and then i also have my books as well which i'm sure will fit in here because i won't have every single thing from here inside you'll understand when i get into the video so the first thing that i have for my back to school haul this wouldn't be in my bag but my best friend sienna bought some of this and she gave me a roll of it so it's some sticky back plastic because i never have sticky back plastic when it comes to the time where you first get to school and you have to stick about plastic all of your books and by the time you get to your second book they don't even care what you do with it so 
you know. But yes, um, I got some sticker like that's it because Sienna gave me a roll. So this is, you had to make sure you get some before school because otherwise everyone ends up needing it. And I'm not sharing this with no one because I'm gonna need it. I'm not too sure how much this was because I got it with Sienna thing and she gave me two more rolls, but she just got it from the works. So um, you can get them from a Lowe's place, you can get them from the works, the pound shop, and now will be the best time to get it before before they all run out when everyone needs, needs it. So the next thing I got is these folders. These are from B&M. So these all came in one packet. It comes with two of these ones, which say, get it organized. And then it comes with two of these ones, which have this really cute marbly pattern on. So these are good for keeping, I'm gonna keep some of them for my homework, or I don't really have many lessons which need sheets because I have practical lessons quite a lot because I do drama, dance and art textiles. So I'll, I could use one of these for some of my art textiles bits so that I can put it in my bag without it getting squished. And then I could use like one for homework. The next thing I have in here is just a little notebook. I've actually used, wrote down some like Netflix series and stuff in here, but I will be using it if I need to use, to write. Ugh. I'll be using it in case I run out of paper in my book and I don't have any spare books or just if I need to write anything down really quickly. Or the next thing that I have is this diary. So this is a 2020 to 2021 diary. I feel like I'm being kind of prepared this year to make sure I have everything, but it's this really cute pink color. This is from the pound shop. Yes. So this was a pound, it's really cute. And Sienna came with me when we went to Washington and got a black one as well. So they have this in this color, black, and I think they also had a blue color, I'm not too sure. Um, but it's just really cute, like pastel pink. And then this bit's in, is it rose gold? Yeah, this bit's in like rose gold. And what I really love about it is, every day has a whole page so this is just like january january is a whole day january the 18th january the 19th it has like a whole day so it's really good for writing down what you have to do that day and homework and still have a lot of space because normally can just do like a whole week on one page but it's not even that big and it fits lots of stuff in next i'm going to move on to my pencil case so this is my pencil case i have no clue where it's from it's probably from I think it was from B&M and it was a makeup bag, but I use it as a pencil case. So it looks really big, but it fits all my stuff in it and it gets the job done. I also have a second pencil case here, but this one is like a Zoella one. I got this ages ago. It says throw kindness around my confetti. So this one just has a whole load of Cor Corolla. Cor How do you say it? Crayola. This just has my Crayola super tips, which is like this. Um, I got these Crayola super tips from Tesco. They were like seven pound for like, fills up the whole bag of these. And they're really good for like coloring stuff in and writing because they have a, they're one of those ones where they had the thick tip, but it goes smaller. So you can write really small or you can write like really big. So let's go into what I have inside this pencil case. First thing I have inside this pencil case is a scientific calculator. So it just looks like this. And then this is the cover. You guys, you have to get this, especially if, as soon as you're going to year nine, I would say, you have to get one of these because I was in the middle of year 10 and they told me I needed to get this and I was stressing out trying to find one. I got this from Tesco. It was like seven pounds something, which is kind of expensive, but I've had this since year 10 and it's still working perfectly fine. The next thing I have in here is just this ruler. I didn't buy all new stuff this year because I don't need brand new stuff for one more year of school. And I don't, I'm not just gonna spend money buying brand new stuff when I don't need brand new stuff when I already have the stuff. So I've just got this ruler because it's just like a normal ruler. It's got a bit of pencil on it, but that's because the numbers have kind of rubbed off, but I just drew on the lines where the numbers used to be and it works perfectly fine. So I don't need a new one. So there's no point buying a new one. Next thing I have, which I also don't need a new one of because the rubber's still good and the sharpener's still good, is this little rubber sharpener. Um, I got this from either Home Margins or Pound Shop, I'm not too sure. I got it last year. Um, so yeah, I just got this rubber. I'm not too sure where the lid's gone. Um, it was in this pencil case, but I will find it. And then the sharpener's just got sharpener on the other end and it's really good and does the job. The next thing I have is these scissors. They're really cute. Pink colour, you can't really see. There you go. Really cute little pink colour and work. The next thing I have, which I haven't actually had to use that much, I've had to use it like once because they've been providing the metal ones at school, is this um, compass, I think it's called. The thing I have is loads of pens, but they're all for different reasons. So the first thing that I bring is, it might seem a bit obsessive, but I want to make sure I have pens and I don't run out, is five black pens because I have enough space in my pencil case. So why not put them in there just in case I need them? The next thing that I bring is two normal pencils like this. And then I bring 
two of these pencils, which are just these clicky pencils. My mum bought a whole box of them in little because she thought they were pens, but they were pencils. But they're just like this. You click this button to let the pencil out, and then you click it and hold it like that to go away. And then you can scroll this up, and there is a rubber. The next thing I have is these different coloured pens. So what I do is I have this kind of pen which is like a writing pen and then this one's more of an inky kind of pen so I have red in case I want to I like writing the questions in different colour and the answers in a different colour so I have quite a few different coloured pens so I have red and then I have the same with blue and then I have purple and then I obviously have green because we always need a green pen at school so make sure for like GPA and stuff so make sure you have one um, I also then have these four felt tip pens if I want to, if we have to make posters or something, I can use these. Um, I have a glue stick, which I forgot to say about. And then I also have this one big pen because I like having these big pens. Um, this is the like kind of pastel coloured ones. So these are good because I can use the blue sometimes or if I just want one pen in my blazer, I can just use this. So that's everything in my pencil case. Let's see what else I have in my bag. Um, so I have these highlighters. You need highlighters when you get when you're at school or just secondary school in general. Um, I can't remember how much they were or where I got them from. Where did I get these from? I don't know, but I don't normally, I normally just get some from Wilkerson's on the pound shop and they do the job. But I wanted to get some more expensive ones this year because I wanted them to last me the whole year. And I love these pastel ones, they are so, like they're just so cute, look at them. The next thing in my bag is my glasses. So I got this new case, this is just from the pound shop. It's really cute, glossy, pinky kind of tan color. And then I've just got my glasses on the inside. So I don't need glasses. To... God, that's loud. I don't have. I don't need glasses twenty four seven. I just need it for seeing things really far away or from looking at the board at school. So I need to have them in my bag. The next thing I have is just some tissues. So I don't normally get like a snotty nose at school, or whatever. But if I do, it's emergency. I have them. Uh, or if I need to clean the table with hand sanitizer and use this because of COVID, if it's like really gross, then I can use that too. This as well came in a packet of, of six, four pounds from the pound shop, so that's really good. The next thing I have is a hairbrush so that if I'm in the middle of school, I can use it. The next thing I have in here is this, which I got last year. It's kind of broken, but it's just for the cards. So I wrote on some of the cards some math stuff that I need to remember, but it's just like some revision cards like this. I got them from Home Bargain, so I can always just go get another pack. And I'm guessing, I think it was a pound or probably less because it's from Home Bargains. The next thing I have is this, which is backwards. It says, it says no filter needed. It's like a little makeup bag, but I use it as like a little girly period kit. So in here, I literally, I have quite a few pads just in case because it's important. And I have like this giant one and then always keep a spare pair of underwear in there just in case as well. Um, so yes, I always keep it in my bag, even if I'm not on period anymore, because it's good, because you never know when you're going to come on, so it's really good to have this. And if any of your friends forget to have one, if you have one, it's really good, because you can just give them one of yours. Next, there is this little inside pocket here in the bag, so I'm going to tell you what I got in here. So I have got my keys, so that I can make it get back home. So on my keys, I have this one little button thing from 2018, it just says, me and my sisters there. In there um i then have this which is from when i went to france to the song trip with my school and then this one came with that too it's just like this little poppies i got this from when i went to turkey the first time i went to marmaris and then i got this one which is a tea which i got for my birthday it came with a pom-pom but the pom-pom fell off so that's really annoying the next thing I have in here, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be taking it to school, but I might just take it back to school just in case because of COVID and everything is a mask, just in case I want to go to shop with my friends after school without having to go home first, then I have my mask with me. The next thing I have is my inhaler, so I don't have asthma, but I got given the inhaler from the doctor because my breathing was really bad, um, so it does get some ba does get bad sometimes it got really bad the other day but it's always good to have it handy just in case i need it you have is a little hand sanitizer it's really good to keep in your bag because of covid the next thing i have is just this little ted baker spray i've used quite a lot of it but it lasts ages because i got this for my 13th birthday and i'm turning 16 soon so it's lasted quite a long time um but yes it's really good to have a little thing so you can use it after pe or something i would also if i have pe put a deodorant in here but i don't have one at the moment because i just have one for like the whole family to use um so i need to get one for my bag for pe 
The last thing which I also have in my bag but I forgot to go and get it is a water bottle because I always need that in case I get thirsty during the day. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on my video if you like it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Click the bell to get the notified whenever I upload a video. I upload every Saturday. And make sure to stick around to see what other back to school videos I do. Comment down below because last year I did a morning routine for back to school. Um, and I might be doing another one and might be doing a back to school like afternoon slash evening routine so when I get home from school what I do so comment down below if you want me to do that and if you want me to do some different hairstyles as well so yes thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.